Wow. Uh, you know, when my assistant told me about the representative for global energy, you are the last person I expected to walk through that door. <laughs> well, um... Oh, please, sit down, <laughs> please. My name is Abigail Uro from Global Energy. You're aware of my coming, I guess. I am aware of your coming. You know, but please, cut down on the extreme formalities, okay? <laughs> my name is Joshua Patrick. Now that we are done with the introductions, can we go back to business, please? Oh, of course, we can. So, um, based <laughs> on... Um, I'm so glad the meeting was so fruitful. And I hope to see you back at the office so we can conclude with the board. Yeah, of course, I am glad too, but not to worry. Uh, you'll be seeing me more often. And why is that? I mean, now that I know where to find you, I am never letting you out of my sight. Really? Yes, I mean, now that fate has brought us together, I am never sleeping on it. Well, I don't really have time for this. I have to go back to the office. Okay. Now that I have your number, I always call you after. Uh, so, would you want to have anything to drink or eat or something? Maybe next time, I will. So, thank you so much. Okay. No. I told you I am busy. I will let you know. Okay? Just give me some time. I'll get back to you. <coughs> Is that the stalker? What stalker? Do you know what I'm talking about? The Mr. Josh guy you talked about. I don't even have his number. Joking. For real? Mm-hmm. How can you say you guys keep bumping into each other and you don't have his number? What are you waiting for? That guy is so cute and I think he's somebody you should be with. Wait, babe. Why are you holding back? I don't know. I'm not interested. Oh, stop it. You should be interested. Look, if that guy wants your attention, you should give him a chance. Why do you think so? Because it's obvious. I think he likes you with the way you're talking about his actions towards you or his moves. I just noticed that we always bump into each other. You have to open up to a man to love you. What if it is God that is sending him to you? You can't remain this way forever. I'm not interested. Hi. You again? Yeah, we, we meet again. Are you sure you're not stalking me? <laughs> because what a coincidence, we keep bumping into each other. Well, my dear, I call it fate. I mean, we, we seem to love the same place, you know, because this is like my favorite place. I come here all the time. Mm. And it feels the same way for you. That's true. 
So I actually came to, um, you know, have lunch, but unfortunately, uh, I'm going back to the office because I have a very important meeting with a client that's already waiting for me. That's too bad. <laughs> no, it's nothing. I'll just go back and have tea and biscuit. You know, <laughs> but then maybe I'll just come back for dinner. Do you care to join? Are you trying to ask me to dinner? <laughs> Okay, let me do it this way. Abigail, will you do me the honor of having a dinner date with me today? Okay. Perfect. You know what, so I'll just uh, go ahead and make the reservation for 7 p.m. and I'll call you and let you know. Maybe give you the details later. Is that okay? That's fine. All right. I'll hurry up. All right, enjoy your lunch. I'll see you, okay? So this is my humble abode, where I live with my mom. It's quite late, so you don't get to see her today. All right, it's okay. Uh, nice place though. Thank it's you. Good. And um, I really enjoyed our outing today. I mean, I, I, I hope we'll get to do this again. All right? I enjoyed myself too. Okay. All right, so uh, I, I need to run along now, okay? No, it's okay. quite late. Yeah. Are you seeing me off? Of course. <laughs> All right, say me hi to your mom, okay? Hello. Tell her that I'll get to see her again. Okay, then. My dearest friend and sister, will ever fall in love. <laughs> ah, the butterflies I feel whenever I talk to Josh. You already feel butterfly in your stomach. Cause <laughs> 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 hmm. I'm so happy for you. But you can never tell. Anything can happen. Nothing is going to happen. The only thing that will happen is a good thing, okay? Look, I feel and I believe Josh is for real. So I trust him, okay? Look at you. Can't you see the glow? I know he loves you. And you love him too, so I trust him. <laughs> I trust him too. Something in me keeps telling me to trust him fully. Good, then follow that thing. Trust in. I will, I will. Good. Mm -hmm. You know, baby. Yeah. I. I can't even believe that you're right here with me as my woman. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> you know, sometimes I think <laughs> you do the same. You know, keep looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what exactly are you thinking now? Mm, well, just how it started, you know, by you stalking me, <laughs> then the restaurant thing. And now I can't believe I'm completely in love with you. <laughs> you know, truthfully, I don't even know how we got here. But then, what really matters is that we're here. And I'm in love with you. I love you too, baby. <laughs>
Cheese. <laughs> Let me take it's a picture. Okay. Look at those two lovebirds. You both are still here. You know what? Both of you should eat yourself for all I care. <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Um, baby, I want to join her in the kitchen to make dinner. Oh, no, perfect. No, 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 no. Have you forgotten? That's not our agreement. You stay with him. I'll go in and make both of you dinner. Enjoy <laughs> yourselves. Thank you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to take a picture right now. Cynthia, yeah. are you done with the cooking? Yes, I'm done. Uh, so, so where are you going to? Oh, I forgot. Mommy sent us on an errand and um, I think we need to leave now so that we can meet up. Um, babe, you didn't tell me. Oh yes, I literally forgot. You know, mom sent us on an errand and we need to go now. It's getting late. Yes, we need to go. Okay, uh, that's fine. You know, I was actually thinking we'll just, uh, you know, have dinner together, but it's, it's okay. Of course, mommy comes first. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, mommy comes first. Your food is on the table and I've packed the remaining in the freezer. Okay. So I just took the one for I and Abigail. Okay, uh, that's fine. That's fine. So, okay, you know what? Just hold on. Let me get my car keys. I'll, I'll just drop you guys off, okay? Okay, that's it, baby. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hello, baby. Are you still at work? Yes, I I won't be coming to pick you up for our outing right now because um, I am still working at home and you know I need to round up this document so I can submit it immediately. Oh, you raised my hopes high, and now I'll be missing you. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm so sorry, my love. You know what? Just call me like in an hour so that uh, uh, I'll come pick you up. I'm sure by then I should be done. Okay, baby. It's okay. It's fine. Just get done with work. I'll come meet you. Okay. I love you too. <laughs> Mwah. All right, bye. Bye, baby. Abigail, you're back. Oh, yes. I'm so tired. Abigail, I thought we agreed on going for a party last night. You kept me waiting. Oh, I forgot. Josh took so much of my time. I'm sorry. You kept me waiting. I'm sorry. But guess what? What? Josh gave me 500,000 just for my shopping. Mm. Mm. Good. Good for you. Um, Abigail, I think I need to go check what I'm doing in the kitchen. Okay. See you soon. Madam, Cynthia, uh -uh. how long have you been here? What are you thinking? What is it? Why are you still here? Oh, no work today. Oh, Abigail, uh, is it because you're on leave? That's why I will not hear a word. Please. Uh, <sighs> see someone I'm even trying to help. You better stand up and go and get ready you before that your big eyeballs sack you. Oh, that's true. Oh, that reminds me. Mommy said I should see her before I leave for work. Hmm. This you see. guys' newfound friendship, I don't understand her. <laughs> jealousy. <laughs> yes, I'm Tell jealous. Tell me that you're jealous. Eh, I'm not, yes. I am jealous, it's okay. She's my best you now. Really? Go and sleep. You that leave me and she... Okay. Uh, yes, okay. that's it. Thank you, Mommy. God bless you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 
Yes, I'm enjoying my birthday. I just woke up. Everything is fine. I'm happy. Thank you, mommy. God bless you. <laughs> yes, I'll call you back. Okay. Bye. I love you. Baby, where's the coffee? Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot, baby. I forgot. I'll just go get it. But then, I have a surprise for you. Surprise? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Oh my god. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. So you came. Oh my god, look at my cake. I love it. Bestie. Oh baby, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> For you, my bestie. You know you're always my birthday cook. <laughs> bestie for life. Bestie for life. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so baby, I don't know. Did you see anything? There's something I kept under the pillow. Oh. Have you seen it? Okay. Oh, okay. So just help me put your hand there and get it for me, okay? Okay. Have you seen it? It's there. Come on. Oh, an iPhone. <gasps> yes, it's an iPhone. It's for you. <gasps> Happy birthday, baby. An iPhone for me, <laughs> baby! An iPhone! Yes! Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god, this beautiful. is so beautiful. You like it? Baby, love it! <laughs> Bestie, I'm an iPhone user. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you, baby. Baby, I love it so much. Alright, baby, so this iPhone is for you. I love it. So I just want to use this to show you how much you mean to me <gasps> and um how much i love and appreciate what we share all right so this is just a token from my heart to you my love thank you so happy much happy birthday to you thank you so much baby i love my new phone like i Come love here. it so much thank <gasps> you <laughs> all right let me leave you girls so uh i, I want to go get the coffee so one coffee and you too, right? Yes, baby. I'll be back. Thank you. Love you, baby. Bye. Oh, to my God, this is so <laughs> That is what I told you. Have some for yourself. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> oh. Wait, Abigail, I thought you said you'll be spending the weekend at Josh Flesh. What happened? Ah, oh, that place is boring. Josh is always busy going from one appointment to the other. And I just felt I should come back home since you're here. Baby girl, are you sure Josh is not seeing someone else? Because I don't understand how it can be so busy to, to be with you. What are you insinuating? <laughs> when a man becomes too busy to spend time with his woman, my dear, there's every possibility that he's seen someone else. I don't know. Hmm. Well, you have to think about it. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. How are you doing? I'm okay. How was your day? Oh, my day was fine. You came home so early. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, I was supposed to go watch match with the boys, but I decided to just, you know, head back home. I'm tired. All right, let me just quit. Oh, I can smell an unusual perfume on you. Perfume? Yes, like a female fragrance. Oh! <laughs> oh, yes, uh, babe. I did uh, a perfume testing for Judith today. You know, 
she actually got some perfume. So, you know, I helped her do some testing and all that. So it's kind of um, a different mixture of um, fragrances, you know. So okay. that's it. <laughs> all right, so hope there's something to eat. I need to go. I'm tired. Of course. <sighs> Are you okay? Babe, I'm told you said you're working remotely today. Ah, I know, but I already told you that I'll be working at the site today, right? I have a lot of work to do, and some of our international clients are already on ground. So we have a lot of paperwork and documentations to do, right? So I, I won't be coming back home today. Are you serious? Huh. Babe. Come on. Don't be like this. I already told you I have a lot of work to do. Alright? They'll miss you. I know, but then I'll be working really, really very late. Alright? And you know it's not advisable for me to work and come back that late. But don't worry. I'll sleep over in the office and then Come be with you in the morning so you can have me all to yourself. <laughs> okay? No, it's okay. Hmm? You miss me, right? I miss you too much. Alright, I have to go now. Before you start missing me and then I'll run late for work. <laughs> so, you call Cynthia to come keep you company, alright? Come here, baby. No, I'll be fine. I'll all just right, see wait you. for you. Okay, baby. I love have you. Have a great day. I love you too. Bye. Ah. See ya, okay? My I'm missing. <gasps> Babe, um, I I was already on my way out when I remember that I forgot my phone. Yes, you forgot your phone. And one of your girlfriends called. What do you mean one of my girlfriends called? Listen, babe, I don't have strength for all of this, your drama this morning, all right? I'm already in a hurry. Please give me my phone. Is it a time you're never in a hurry? I said your girlfriend called and called you baby boy on phone. Baby boy. Oh, <laughs> that must be Judith, okay? And so? That's what she calls me sometimes. What right does she have to call you such a name? Babe, you already know that Judith is my childhood friend. And of course, she worked for me right now. She's my friend. I don't understand. She caught the call mainly she heard my voice. If you don't have something to do with her, why did she end the call? Oh, come on. What are you insinuating? What? That I'm having something to do with Judith? God. All I've given to you in this relationship is love, faithfulness, respect. Why are you cheating on me? Just why? So, can, can you just stop? Stop it already! What are you even saying? What are you saying? Come on! All I've given you in this relationship is nothing but honesty and faithfulness. And you know it! I don't know anything, no. I don't know. You have changed! And I know what I am saying! <sighs> Listen. Babe. You are the only woman in my life. Okay? The only person I want to spend the rest of my life with. I don't know where you're getting all these fabrications from. I don't know. I don't know where you're getting all of this. Can you just allow us to have a peaceful relationship? Alright? Devoid of all these tantrums and arguments and all of that. Can we stop already? Please. Can I get my phone? I need to go now. Please. No, 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 Abigail. No! When I was telling you to check meet your man, what did you do? You made me feel like an intruder. You even called me. Ah! And said I should mind my business. Gosh! Ah, take it easy, sis. Don't talk like that. Oh no! Don't tell me that. What do you expect me to say? Tell me! Oh! Because you found out that Josh is not the friend. You see? Whatever you have found out about Josh, you have to handle it your own way. I mean, your own way. I agree, I overreacted. And I'm sorry. 
You know you're my best friend and I can't do anything without you. Mm hmm? Abigail, you know I've known you for a long time. We've been friends from way back. I don't think we are friends anymore. We are sisters now, right? Exactly. I will never deceive you. I need you to stand up for your right. Fight for what is yours. Men don't like soft women. Stop doing all this yourself, soft, soft, soft. Stop it! I don't even know what to do. Why are all this happening? I begin, nothing is happening. Absolutely nothing is happening. Wake up and fight for what is yours. Or Josh will leave you. Oh, I don't know what. What will I do? I'm not ready for all this. I don't know how to react anymore. I'm just... It's so... okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Don't cry. Do you want to cry? Me. Stop it, please. Don't cry over this. Look. Look at me. Look at me. You're going to fight for what is yours. Men don't like soft girls. Okay? I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know. Hey, 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 stop. Look. Look at me. I'm serious. Look at me. Promise me you're going to fight. Look, I'm not leaving you alone in this. I'll fight for you. I'll fight with you. But you have to promise me that you will stand for yourself. I'll try. No, try. You have to fight. Look. I don't want you to lose Josh. I don't want to neither. Good. So stop crying. Come here. Wake up! Hey, what is it again? The last time I checked, there was no password on this phone. Babe, hey, what are you doing with my phone? When did you start putting password on your phone? When? Babe, it's nothing. Come on, I just... Okay, it's for security reasons, yeah? Including me? Your woman? Babe, it's not like that. I just have to, you know, put a password on Unlock my phone. Unlock this phone. What do you mean? Unlock the phone. Oh, babe, stop. Now. If you have nothing to hide, unlock your phone. I'm not hiding anything. Then unlock the phone. Now! If 
you want peace? Just unlock the phone. I need it open now. Okay. Hey, I, I really don't understand the meaning of all this. I told you there's nothing in this phone. I'm waiting. There's nothing in my phone. Then unlock it. Can you explain this? Babe, what is it again? Why would you post this kind of picture on your social media? Holding the woman's waist so tight! Explain this, Josh! Baby, that is just work pictures, okay? It was taken during our seminar at the office. And you're holding her waist so tight? Ha! This man, you are just disgracing me. What do people say? What do you mean, what would people say? Oh, babe, I just told you here that this picture was taken during our seminar. All right? It's nothing. I mean, wh wh why are you getting so worked up? Why are you stressing the living daylight out of me? Hey, don't baby me. Because I don't know what you have done after taking such picture. Oh, God. Oh, God, baby, stop all this. What is wrong with you? Why are you stressing me? Why are you beginning to, 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 to cause chaos in this house? These pictures were just taken. It's just normal pictures. Work pictures. I've said it repeatedly. Take down this picture. Or you choose between her and I. Josh, what's the problem? You've not been yourself for it. For a while now, what's going on? There is no problem. Please I'm okay. Stop that. Just stop telling me that. You know I know there is a problem. You know I know there is something. Like something is wrong. What's it? It's my girlfriend. I really don't know what is going on. I don't know what is happening. All of a sudden, she started suspecting every move that I make. And all of this started when she moved into this house. I mean, she's suspecting every move, asking questions. You know, if I go out, she wants to know where I, go, I, I, I went to. She wants to know everything about me. And I don't understand. At some point, I was thinking maybe she intentionally moved in with me so she can monitor every move that I make. Wow. Is it that bad? It's really bad. I'm tired. Look, like, I, I think you guys are, something is missing. Have you actually tried speaking to her? Like, have you guys had time together Judith, to talk? Judith, I have done everything possible to speak sense into her. I mean, she doesn't even give me the opportunity to, 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 to talk to her. All she does is nag, nag, talk about this, you know, yell at me, insult me, say all sort of rubbish to me. Okay, now, Josh, you're going to calm down. Like, you need to calm down. You know I'm also a woman. Like, have you tried, you know, getting her gifts, like buying her roses, taking her out or something? Just, like, do something. Like, it might just work. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just try. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. Just try and do something. I just want it to work. I mean, I love this girl, but she's not giving me the peace that I deserve. Just, you know, try and do something. She'll come around. Love a boy. Try and just spice <laughs> things up, you know, just do something. Buy a okay. game. Okay. I've heard you women supporting women. Of course. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Come on, drink up. I mean, you don't want to drink. Uh, please, 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 please. You oh. want some wine? No, no, no. Fine. That's why you're always complaining about this particular jaded girl. Don't you think it's time for you to put more fire in the house? How? Good. Do you even visit him in the office? Not often. My contract with him is over and 
He's not always at the office. He's always here. He likes the environment. Exactly. He's always here, not in the office. You both shouldn't be meeting here all the time. You should go see him in the office to know exactly what he is doing with that girl. You will be here and this particular Judith girl will just snatch him away from you. Wake up, girl. Visit him more in the office. I think you're right. That's exactly what I'll do. <laughs> Thank you. We are now sisters, right? Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we have this. 